What's up guys, Herc here and today I have some news. Today's going to be the last day that I'm going to be driving the Legacy, the Subaru Legacy that you guys seen a, a bunch of videos on. So what I'm doing right now is I have my tools all set up. I'll just flip the camera around. I got all my tools set up over here. I've got my jack, my exhaust and all that. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking off the nameless axle back exhaust that you guys might have seen my install video on. I'm gonna link it right on the screen right now so you can go check it out if you want. And so this is for my 2.5i Legacy. It's right over here. All right, I've had this car for about three years now and it's time to say goodbye to it because tomorrow we're gonna be picking up a new uh, 2017 Forester XT. So I'm really excited about that. I've got a lot of mod plans in mind. So I really can't wait to get started with that. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a lot of mod videos coming, a lot of different uh, suspension and power mods that I'm going to be adding to it, so stay tuned for that. Uh, yeah, so see you guys in a bit. So the exhaust pliers definitely made it a lot easier thing. Where am I? Hold on. I'm trying to see the... There it is. The pliers made it a lot easier to take off the... The uh, what you call it? The washers or the the, poly, the, the polyurethane uh, bushings, rather. So I got that one half off and that one half off, and I just realized that I need to get some WD-40 in my sockets for this because this thing is pretty rusted. So it's gonna really lead. It's gonna need a little bit of grease to help get it out there. All right, so I finally got the nameless axle back exhaust off, the muffler delete. So I'm actually gonna put a link in the description. You guys can see if you wanna purchase it for yourselves. I'm gonna clean it up a bit because it got a bit dirty because it's been on there for about 10,000 miles. So if you guys want, link is you know, uh, on the screen right now and you can go check it out. All right, got the old exhaust on and fitment looks pretty good so i will see you guys at the dealership now well i didn't manage to get any footage at the dealership but here she is 2017 forester xt premium i'm gonna give you guys a quick walk around check out these 18 inch wheels pretty nice finish at first i was a little skeptical about them i really like the 14s and 15s but i really like these I had to put my little touch on there, get the flags up there. All right, the visibility on this car is excellent. Like you could see everything. Um, oh, actually, yeah, speaking of that, let me show you this. Because they have this little glass over here, you get so much more vision and the A-pillar is really small too. So really easy to see out of, nice ride height. I thought because I was coming from a Legacy that this would feel like really high up because it's an SUV too, but it the driving position is pretty good. Nice high roof line. All right, we finally got the, the dual exhaust, the one here, which is going to be modified very soon because this thing is way too quiet as it is a family a family SUV. All right, let me give you guys a quick tour on the inside. All right, so this is the premium model, so there's no uh, keyless touch or anything like that. No leather, no navigation, all that fancy stuff. Um, but frankly, I really don't need it. This definitely meets and exceeds my needs. Uh, we do have the leather and cloth mix, so I really like that. Uh, the stitching is pretty nice, too. Got some little blue patterns going on there. The wheel, I'm in love with this wheel. It's very similar to the WRX wheel. I think it might even be the same one. Uh, I could be wrong, um, but it feels very nice. They refreshed it for, I think, the 16 and 17 models, and I think the 14, 15 had a different steering wheel. Uh, we got our infotainment screen over here in the middle. Still got the plastic on it. Brand new, just came just came home. I really like the knobs over here. It looks like a, like a stainless steel finish, although it is plastic. We have our shift knob, feels very nice. Um, when you shift into gear, it feels very like notchy, so to speak, even though it is an automatic or a CVT. 
We have our X mode here. I'm really curious to try this out. I mean, now we're getting into spring here in New York, so I'm not gonna be trying that out for a while. That's okay. And this button over here, yes, I am wearing uh, <laughs> slippers. Um, this button right here, uh, SI mode. Uh, I've been, I will, I only have like, what, 20 miles on this because we drove back from the dealership. But this button, I was trying it out on the, um, on the highway switching between intelligent mode and sport mode and you can really feel the difference in the shifts it's a lot quicker to respond i haven't used the paddle shifters yet i don't want to really go into that territory at, for a while at least um so we got all this stuff we got our our um our bin over here our storage area i put some stuff over there i'm gonna close that up i do like this i like that we have an actual mechanical um, handbrake because my legacy had the little push electronic button so I really like the feel of this feels a lot better I will say though that that as far as like storage space um, like this little cubby over here way smaller than the 2014 legacy that I had it does have a coin tray which is nice um, the legacy didn't so you could fit a couple extra little things in there this this bin over here is pretty deep uh, but again, it's it's very short like overall you can't fit that many things in it But it does have uh, two USB ports right there and, and an auxiliary that I have plugged in already and a 12 volt as well as This 12 volt right over here. I don't know if you guys could see this. It's starting to get dark right now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, right over here Yeah, right over there Okay, so we have that So that's pretty great and we also have heated seats right next to our X mode right there for both passenger and driver's side. Okay, so let's put the coin tray back. Let's close that up and let's head to the back. <clears throat> so I'm gonna open this up here. And I was sitting back here before uh, as the salesperson was, you know, demonstrating to us and stuff. And uh, I just wanted to get a little feel for it. And it's very spacious. like. I, well, I'm pretty short, but I am about five foot eight, and I have about, I don't know, about, I don't know if you guys could see this, I'm not gonna bother even showing, but I have about like, I don't know, five inches on top of my head, so that's pretty good. This view is very nice, you can see everything, there are like almost no blind spots on this car, which is fantastic. Um, one thing that I do, I, this is just personal preference, so we do have the center armrest that folds out anyone that's back here uh, one thing about the steering though for the steering it's very light it, it feels a lot like a WRX that I've driven in the past it's it's pretty light um, on the highway though if you're cruising and you're just trying to go straight it is a little jerky if you try to make like like a little bit of an overcorrection and it does overcorrect a little bit but other than that it's pretty good um, I do like the the legacy's heavier steering though that I had uh, we also have this too. the headrest kind of tilts forward and it notches into place so it resets there, you go click for click, it goes there, it goes there, and then when you get to the end, it just resets again. So I'm going to keep it right around there for me. Alright, let's head to the trunk, which is pretty massive. Alright, we're going to open it up over here. Alright, so what we have over here, we have another 12 volt outlet which is pretty great in case you need to plug in like a like a vacuum or a tire uh, pump or anything like that and this stuff is still in plastic over here but you can see that it's the like that weather liner for the back I'm also hopefully uh, I think I'm gonna put the um, the plastic uh, weather liners that go over here too they're pretty cheap so I'm gonna get that we have our what is it called our bad weather kit what is this thing called our severe weather companion there we go I can't read so we went, went, look at that, severe weather companion. You also have a small light over here in case you want to see in the dark and you're moving stuff out of here. All right, we also have this button over here. Wait, let me just make sure that there's nothing in front over here. Okay, good. All right, you press this button, pull it up, boom. One touch release so you can fit things in the back over here. And yeah, so that pretty much covers the back. Just gotta slam this into place and it goes right back. So now let's open up the hood and let's check out the real reason why we got the XT. Well yeah, we wanted the ground the ground clearance too, but this thing is the fun part. Alright, 
so here we go we have our turbocharged uh, direct, inje direct injection engine uh, this is the same engine a little bit detuned that's in the CVT uh, WRX and I gotta say like the engine compartment here is a lot smaller and it's nice everything is nice and and close together the, the legacy was too but it, it had a little bit of a longer nose so you couldn't um, like it was just harder to get to things like if I want to reach all the way to the back over here I couldn't reach it but here look I'm still I'm, I'm able to to get there so that's pretty nice uh, we got our oil filter there our dipstick our intake box and our naked strut towers I'm saying that because I'm planning on putting a, uh, a brace there. So I'm going to put a brace. We got our washer fluid, our oil cap. This engine takes 5W30 oil, our battery, and our battery tie down. And yeah, and it's just good to have a turbo. The turbo, actually, I don't know if you guys could see, I believe is somewhere down here located by the, uh, by the driver's side near the headers over there. But I don't think you can see it from there. But let me give you guys a quick view of the underbelly. I don't know how well you can see it. Um, oh, also, uh, the premium model does not have the fog lights, which I'm perfectly okay with. Because I had the fog lights on the uh, the Legacy. Whoops, zooming in. I had it on the Legacy, and honestly, they didn't really help in certain situations. This is also our skid plate over here, as you can see. All right, so I'll give you guys a view of the undercarriage from the front. All right, you see all the piping over there, the suspension. And over there, I'm going to go to the back. Let's just close up this hood here. I'll give it a quick snap. There we go. Alright. Let's go to the back now. Okay. And this is where I'm going to be spending a lot of time. Because I hope to, uh, to soon modify it. I'm going to put a a nameless exhaust so there'll be a video for that if anything I'll leave a link on the page right now on this video if you guys are watching this like a year from now or whatever a couple months down the road because I'll probably have it by then so there's our Y pipe our two mufflers way too big for my liking gonna get some four inch nameless uh, pipes and hopefully a um, WRX uh, mid pipe and yeah so that's pretty much it so if you guys like the video please leave a like uh, let me know what you think of the car. I'm definitely going to do a lot of reviews and stuff on this and different parts and installs and all that. I do have to buy another Fumoto drain valve, so that will come soon. And yeah, stay tuned for some more Forrester XT content. Alright, take care guys. Peace.